Let's move to another one o'clock Eastern time game on CBS. It's the four and four Patriots and the three, four and one Colts. Both these teams hard to figure out. Colts reeling, firing their offensive coordinator and making some trades as well. I'm not sure what to make it of either, right? I mean, you, you go through the quarterback transition from Matt Ryan to Sam Ellinger, who's a very different quarterback as far as his skill set, even though I thought he played well enough to give them a shot at the end. I mean, I have no idea how Michael Pittman dropped that ball at the end of the game. I mean, it was a perfect pass in his hands. It sets them up with he a was chance to win. He might have gone. He might have gone. Yeah. And so it's a shame, and you could tell clearly that impacted how that thing was going to end. But the defense stepped up. They played better last week. All that being said, it's tough to predict anything with the Patriots at home. I think, again, young quarterback going up against a Bill Belichick defense, that's always the mismatch to me that I'm looking for. So even though Mac Jones is struggling, the offense hasn't got it going – I'm going to lay the five and a half points here. New England always seems to take care of business at home versus a young quarterback like Sam Ellinger. Except the young quarterbacks who can move. He can't move the same way some of the other guys can. Justin, but he can. He can move a little bit. Not he can like run. that. He's not Justin Fields, but he can move. He's not Michael Vick, but he can move. And that's given Bill Belichick's defense his problem. Maybe they decided they're finally going to realize they can spy a guy if they need to at some point in their history because they didn't spy against Justin Fields. It was a bad plan. Uh, I like the Colts in this game. We've seen the Colts uh, run the football, and Matt Jones is not playing very well. I mean, let's be honest. He's just not playing good football. It's hard, though, watching their offense to see how they ever get him into a rhythm. They, there's no rhythm around anything they do on offense. I mean, you watch them, and some of the play calls are so predictable. Oh, you, you got a loss on first down, and now it's second and long. What are you going to do? A screen. I mean, the quarterback defender it, has arrived. It's, the it's quarterback even, defender has arrived. It doesn't matter arrived. if it's Bailey Zappi. <laughs> it, it doesn't, doesn't matter who you put back there. You're going to defend them. It's not that. If it's I was the, the fact quarterback that you watch the Patriots scheme, today, you if, would defend if them. If you knew the scheme, I would defend you. Yeah. Because I'd say, look at the offense. That's what I mean. And I'd say, there's no rhythm, there's no flow right now. And Matt that's that's as much as Matt. not look good. That's as much of Matt Patricia as anything else. It doesn't matter if it's Mac Jones or Bailey Zappi. There is no flow to that offense. I get it. He's not a great offensive coordinator, but he hasn't looked good either. Um, he hasn't played his best football. There's no doubt about it. Probably not since the first half of last year. Let's not defend him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laying the points with him here. You're on the other side of this we're one. Gonna ha- right? We're going to get a special alarm when the quarterback <laughs> defender shows up. I'm just saying, I'm laying the points. You're on the other side. Yes. We'll keep track, okay. just like we did with Denver and Jacksonville okay. last year, last week. And okay. Who won that one? Okay, you did. Okay. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.